Screens are made up of thousands of tiny lights known as pixels, and each has three colors, red, green, and blue. In order to create a realistic TV screen in Blender, the screen must have visible RGB pixels. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a shader that mimics the look of a real-life LED TV screen. So the first thing that you're going to need is a model of the preferred screen that you're trying to make. In this case, I'm using a model of an old CRTV that I found on BlendSwap. For those of you who want this exact model, I will have it linked in the description. Once you have your preferred TV model, you have to have an image texture to mimic the RGB pixels, so we can later use it to actually have the colors of the image on the screen separate into the red, green, and blue color values. Luckily for you, I've already made an image texture and it will be linked in the description for you to use as needed. So starting off in Blender, you need to create a material for the screen on your TV. You can do this by going into edit mode and selecting all the faces of your screen. Once they're selected, click the plus button over here and then create a new material. Once everything's selected and you have a new material created, you can click assign and now that material is applied to the geometry that you selected. Now that we have our material created and applied, let's go over to the shading tab and begin creating our material. So to start off, we just need to delete the principal BSDF because we don't need it. And you want to add in an emission because this is a TV of course, so it's going to have an emissive screen. Once you have your emission in there, you probably already have an idea of what you want to put on your screen. In this case, I'm going to be using the footage that I had in the intro of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in and plug it into the color of the emission shader, add in a mapping node and a coordinate node, a texture coordinate node. You want to plug the UV into the top of the mapping and the mapping into whatever image or footage that you were using. This is where it really depends on what kind of model you're using. If it's a different size screen or anything, then it could be completely different and you don't have to follow exactly what I do. So really, you just have to mess with this stuff until you get it right. At this point, you could say that you have a perfectly working TV and you don't need to do anything else, but it just really looks flat and there's no realism to this screen at all. It's just boring, honestly. So what we need to do now is separate all of these different colors into actual RGB pixels. Now let's bring in our RGB image texture. So what we need to do first is get a separate RGB node and just put that into there and we can disconnect that from the emission for now and just move that out of the way. So separate RGB into your image and also the RGB. And now what we're going to do is bring in a math node. And you want to set this math node to multiply. We're going to need three of these because of course there's three colors, red, green, and blue. So basically what we're doing is we are separating out the red values of our footage and the RGB image texture. So red is multiplied by red, green is multiplied by green, blue is multiplied by blue. And now that they have been separated and then multiplied by each other, we need a combine RGB node and we're going to combine our red, green, and blue. And we can put that back into the emission. And right now, it doesn't look right, of course, because we have not unwrapped our RGB image correctly. So we can just copy and paste our mapping and texture coordinate over to the RGB image, plug it in, but we need to have this displayed multiple times because we have multiple pixels. So for me, I'm just gonna go up to about 670, and on the Y, about 250. And this will probably be a good time to turn up the emission. I'm gonna put it at about 10, 
think that looks nice. And you can already see that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. We could probably see it better if we went to a different part of the footage. So I went to a different frame and it has like some glitchiness on it. And you can see that where there's green glitches, only the green pixels are illuminating. Any other color, the same thing. Only thing after that is putting some screen glass glossiness over this effect. Really, we could do that by just using an add shader and then putting a glossy on the bottom. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets, but you can, of course, put some surface imperfections and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much the effect. I hope this helped you with anything that you needed it for, and I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I'm gonna try posting more now. So yeah, thank you.